Hey there folks, thanks for tuning in for another brand new video and we have something I have been trying to pick up from Walmart for the last four days and for whatever reason Walmart keeps saying they were in stock and I place the order, I wait for it to be ready for pickup and then they cancel it. I finally got a order ready email today, went to pick it up and of course the shelves were stocked full of it and well here it is. The Mandalorian Darksaber by Hasbro. This thing is pretty freaking cool. I'm so excited to have it. I don't normally pick up these, uh, quite frankly, cheap, cheap end lightsabers, but even this guy was, I think, $32 after tax, which I think the normal lightsabers back in the day were maybe, what, 10, 15 bucks? A big price jump, but even then, you know, it is pretty different than a normal lightsaber, the cheap plastic ones, you know, that you have to swing and get the blade out and everything, but yeah let's jump right into it and get a closer look at the light right off the bat i noticed that they have different images from different shows not just the mandalorian up here but they also have rebels clone wars and obviously it was in rebels because we see sabine holding it here but i never finished rebels and i wasn't that into it i liked it for what the parts i did watch i just haven't had a chance to rewatch it that i have disney plus i should probably get back into it but i never actually saw the dark saber used in rebels so i should probably take a look at that and um, check out what's you know what's it all about in that and i don't think yeah so they do specify it is the mandalorian dark saber even though I, I guess it is the Mandalorian in, in over in retrospect, but it's not from the show itself. But of course, it is the same dark saber we see throughout the entire watch series. And it does say, you know, you do need some AAA batteries. But me being the dummy, I saw that, tried it in the store, and still bought batteries. So I'll just return those. No big deal. Here we have it says the ancient Mandalorian lightsaber in different languages, and that is about it. On the back, we just see all the different features. It says swing for battle FX and hold button for lightning FX. And down here, an ancient black bladed lightsaber wielded by Death Watch's Pre Vizsla and later Darth Maul. So they don't have any information from the Mandalorian itself. That is a very brief history and overview from basically just the TV shows. There are some images in the back. And I'm not going to turn it on just yet. Let me go ahead and unpackage this and then we'll get a closer look at the lightsaber itself. So here we have the Mandalorian Darksaber. This thing is pretty cool. I kind of only, at first I only bought this to do a review and I thought about returning it. But quite frankly, it's a pretty cool piece. I don't think I'm going to return it now. I mean, it's uh, not, not too shabby for Hasbro making, again, you know, cheap lightsabers that for kids it's great especially for young cosplayers i think this is perfect instead of spending three four five hundred dollars six hundred dollars or more on a custom third party or aftermarket lightsaber and who knows when disney is actually ever going to give us like a legacy lightsaber of this or even the um, force fx lightsaber version but for kids, I think, especially kid cosplayers, this is a fantastic piece. It's pretty lightweight, and a lot of the weight is right here in the middle. So it does kind of throw it off balance, but, you know, I'm not going to critique that too much. And overall, it's a pretty cool design. Now, really quick, it did come with instructions because you can turn it on and off. And there are features that when you do, like, the swing motion and... I think clashing and lightning sounds and on the bottom there are the on and off switches and the very first one is just completely off then there is a one which I'm assuming is like demo mode for when it's in the store and you can play with it and test it out and then two will be I guess the jet regular ownership feature let's get a close-up on the blade I'm actually quite surprised at all the detail that went into this it's pretty darn good I mean for a $30 Hasbro kids toy, it I mean, it looks like the Darksaber. You won't really question that at all. I do wish, and looking in the blade especially, they could have covered these screw holes, I'm sure, with some kind of plugs that match the blade itself. So you can't really pose or take pictures with it on this side. And this side is a completely flat piece. And just looking at the blade, overall, again, it's a good size. I know the handle is pretty big, so I want to say the actual life-size version of it is probably bigger, but even this, I can't complain about that. I mean, 
this I think to me looks like a pretty decent sized sword. I know the Mandalorian sword itself is unique and it probably matches something in history books and I don't know too much about swordsmanship itself but you know when we have a pretty large blade with a somewhat short blade it's not like the lightsabers where the blade itself is super long compared to a smaller handle but you know we do see the pretty long handle sometimes with it and even going two hands on here and a little blocker right there now let me get a measuring tape to just show you how long this actually is so from end to end i don't know if you can see that that is 32 just under 32 in, no i think it's just about 32 inches so it's a pretty long piece now let me do just the blade and the handle it's about 10 and 3 quarter inches and the blade will be about 21 inches there so yeah it's a pretty good sized piece let me just do another close-up of the blade so i really liked what kind of work they did here the black has all these cracks for the white blade and you can even see the white around it as well for it to shine through so that really gives you the nice mandalorian blade effect on it now let me go ahead and turn it on and this does ignite and retract also so one push you see that and i'll do it again with the lights off so you can get a better sense of the light there you go and then if you hold it oh there's a swinging motion and i'll get a close-up on this microphone and it's pretty loud it is pretty loud coming from just the speakers at the bottom here if you hold the ignition I guess it just keeps going and again swinging and if there is some clash sounds you can see it vibrating and changing also and to turn it off that's pretty loud <laughs> so yeah that's pretty cool let me go ahead and turn off all the lights so you can get a better look in a completely dark room make sure i'm not hitting anything let me go ahead and turn it on again swinging it doesn't capture the swinging motion every time so it's pretty selective or maybe depending and I love that that flickering light now it wasn't flickering that time I guess you just have to wait a moment I'm actually not sure if this is on purpose. You see the lights going in and out. I I guess maybe to give that static effect. And you can see some purplish colors in there. And let me do the electric or the uh, lightning motion. and turning it off let me turn it on and off again one more time but i'm going to hold the speaker closer to my microphone i hope it doesn't make it too loud on your end i'll try to adjust the clip and the sound when i'm editing the video because even in person again i'm not sure how it sounds but it's pretty darn loud i mean it hits loud so let me try that again <laughs> trying to get the swinging motion there you have it so overall like i said i mean it's a pretty cool piece i i don't know if it's worthy to actually display up front in in the collection depending on what you have of course i don't have any lightsabers as you can see i'm currently on the hunt for a legitimate prop replica dark saber and also obi-wans and a few others also and well actually i have the temple guard lightsaber so i forgot about that so i do have those but 
Yeah, it's, I mean, the look of it isn't that bad. Of course, it does look plasticky and look like a kid's toy, but overall, it is pretty cool. I'm pretty impressed and pretty happy with Hasbro with pulling this off. Finally, after all these years, I know when we first saw the Darksaber, we really wanted these to be made, and it took Dark, uh, Rebels and then finally The Mandalorian to get it. Hasbro has been pumping out a lot of new merch lately. If you have any questions, feel free to answer or leave them down below and I will answer them and or any thoughts or any comments as well. And be sure to subscribe my channel, like the video and follow me on social media. Stay tuned for the next video and thanks again for your support.